It was late one fall in Halloween land, and the air had quite a chill. Against the moon, a skeleton sat alone upon a hill. He was tall and thin, with a bat bow tie. Jack Skellington was his name. He was tired and bored in Halloween land. Everything was always the same. I'm sick of the scaring, the terror, the fright. I'm tired of being something that goes bump in the night. I'm bored with leering my horrible glances, and my feet hurt from dancing those skeleton dances. I don't like graveyards, and I need something new. There must be more to life than just yelling boo. Then out from a grave with a curl and a twist came a whimpering, whining, spectral mist. It was a little ghost dog with a faint little bark and a jack-o'-lantern nose that glowed in the dark. It was Jack's dog, Zero, the best friend he had. But Jack hardly noticed, which made Zero sad. All that night and through the next day, Jack wandered and walked. He was filled with dismay. Then, deep in the forest, just before night, Jack came upon an amazing sight. Not twenty feet from the spot where he stood were three massive doorways carved in wood. He stood before them completely in awe, his gaze transfixed by one special door. Entranced and excited, with a slight sense of worry, Jack opened the door to a white, windy flurry. Jack didn't know it, but he'd fallen down in the middle of a place called Christmas Town. Immersed in the light, Jack was no longer haunted. He had finally found the feeling he wanted. And so that his friends wouldn't think him a liar, he took the present-filled stockings that hung by the fire. He took candy and toys that were stacked on the shelves and a picture of Santa with all of his elves. He took lights and ornaments and the star from the tree and from the Christmas town sign he took the big letter C. He picked up everything that sparkled or glowed. He even picked up a handful of snow. He grabbed it all and without being seen he took it all back to Halloween.
Dear Jack, said Santa, I applaud your intent. I know wreaking such havoc was not what you meant. And so you were sad and feeling quite blue. But taking over Christmas was the wrong thing to do. I hope you realize Halloween's the right place for you. There's a lot more, Jack, that I'd like to say. But now I must hurry, for it's almost Christmas Day. Then he jumped in his sleigh, and with a wink of an eye, he said, Merry Christmas, and he bid them goodbye. Back home, Jack was sad, but then, like a dream, Santa brought Christmas to the land of Halloween. 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 